Class by run by Dan Esther. So I think we mentioned earlier that Evolve Academy is in Trondheim in Norway. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, this man represents PST Academy. It's Now, I got some good facts for you about Martin Vitria. He has got a 19 second head kick KO win on his professional record. Oh, wow. It's, uh, it's pretty beasty. I so will keep my eyes open for this then. Steve, my co commentator, just announced this fight. I hope he can get back to the chair in time. <laughs> this is very, very interesting. I mean, you've got to have Martin Vitria going to this as a big favourite, but not quite sure how it'll work out. I was just saying, Steve, that Martin Vitria has got a 19-second head kick KO on his professional record. So I'm expecting him to come out and put some pressure and go fast. Afrat is very durable, though. Oh, slipped on that right. Afrat is, is definitely durable, but Vitria just he has been on Cage Warriors. He's had a lot of good experience, and now he's back with that BST team. Yeah, two and one is a pro. I'm saying really keep an eye on this kid. He's looking to make waves in the lightweight division. Very good. Oh, that kick. High kick. Beautiful, cracking, thunderous off the bones of Afrit. Afrit doing a lot of his best duck and dodge moves. Oh, a, a heavy calf kick. They've got a sting. Just kicking the leg right out from under him. Patria doing such a good job of holding the middle of the octagon. Controlling the space, pressuring forward. Afrit a bit desperate with that shot. Again, just out of position there. I get the, I almost so, almost get the impression that Vitria is looking for a big finish here, Steve. Not overcommitting to anything though. Oh, thunderous! He can constantly throw though. You see, he's always in position, well balanced. Catches the kick and lands the left hand, sends him into the canvas. Yeah, Afrit's durability has never been brought into question. Very tough fighter, but Vitria is just—he's controlling the middle and he's just. Everything is look at he's got two perfect lines across his calf on his left leg. Pinpoint accuracy. Yeah, pinpoint accuracy is exactly right. <laughs> Martin Afford. This is similar to the Luca fight where Patria has forced Afrit to accept that I've got a lot of power, you have to be worried about it, and that's gonna determine exactly the way that Afrit has to fight for the rest of this. Yeah, but Tria is just as long as it lasts. He's just that, that power is just insane. He can, it's so tempered and then just explodes. So you can tell by how Afrit's biting on every single feint. Yeah. There's another kick to the calf. It's also a bit of a size issue. I just, there's a there's a skill to cut in weight. Well, clearly Vitria's coming at a little bit heavier. Or just a little bit more experience in that weight cutting. Afrit driving through. Stomping kick there from Afrit as we enter the halfway through this first round. So look at him. Afrit. Really, really concerned about that right hand of Atria sneaking through. He's biting on every feint. Lovely little left hook after the combination there. Oh, goes high with the kick. Oh, Atria's footwork's lovely as well. Just very light on his feet, very composed. Vitria, beautiful straight left there. Switches back to orthodox. A little shift as he steps back. This is Vitria just looks composed. He's picking his shots. It's very it's it's very game plan. Afra is actually just getting backed up and then throws something desperate, getting backed up and throws something desperate. You have to be aware the whole time that you're fighting about how it's going about what's coming back at you, and Vitria seems to be aware but just safe and solid in his stance. Does a good job of... Oh, lovely flying knee. Eats a left hand. Just kicks the body too. Afrat, lovely shots. Oh, hot snapping left high kick. Oh, lovely left hand. I loved how Vitria just shifted in 
to southpaw there and then fired his rear hand, which was his left, as he's pushing down the guard of Afrit. Eats it inside calf. Look at the calf of Vitrius, Steve. Look at that. That is chopped. Of, uh, Looks like Afrit, Vitrius sorry. got razor blades on his shins. Yeah. It's got to hurt your own leg, just kicking that hard. Vitrius getting ready to load up on something. 50 seconds. The durability of Afrat though. Yeah, that right hand just glances off the forehead. Oh, yeah, big shot there. Afrat's still dangerous yeah. on the break. He is with 30 seconds remaining. His kick is caught, and he's just backed away, sticking his tongue out of Vitria, goading him on. Maybe he knows something we don't. Maybe he's got a great counter left hook in the bag, but Vitria is now with the knee to the head. There's a blood under the nose of oh. Afrat. So they clatter in together with 10 seconds remaining in this first round. Nice Af knees from the chair. Look at that clinch work was good, but thrown to the floor. Oh, a couple of those knees landed for Afrit. And there's blood Poor. on the nose yeah, blood of both fighters. <laughs> yeah, both guys. I mean, Afrit's still dangerous. He's landed some shots. Throws wild on the break. It's very hard for Vitria to read because it, it's it's just a slightly random counter every time he's coming. But Vitria, he's the one controlling the center of the octagon, controlling the pace of this. Afrat having a little, you know, a few moments there, certainly. He's starting to read the timing a little better. Vitria very composed. Jordan Vichenik in Vitria's corner, giving his little adjustments. The Evolve crew in Martin Afrat's making those adjustments there. And these are like small game Small adjustments can make a huge difference to a fight. Yeah, Martin Afrat be a, a little more aggressive, try and control the middle a little bit more. Vitria starts setting traps, try and get an opening so we can get a clean shot. No love lost, staring each other down. Here we go. Round number two in our main event. We have Martin Vitria taking on, sorry, Martin Afrat taking on Marin Vitria. Oh, left hook was nicely timed. Nicely just faded away with it. Afrat's got a monster chin, Steve. He's definitely been eating a lot of damage and he takes the kick almost right up to the face. I think he's struggling to breathe. He's blowing out his nose, trying to get some air in. A little bit of reddening on the body of a tree as well. Martin landed a few shots. The nose is. Oh, I think Vitria smells not only his own blood, but the blood <laughs> of Afrit. He's wanting to come forward there. It's a lovely kicking game as well from Vitria. He's gone backed up the entire time and he's using. Oh, lovely your overhand right from Afrit. Seeing both fighters touch their nose, I think. It a little bit awkward over. Oh, lovely left hook. He's coming in. Swarming oh, him. That's the word for it. Swarming all over lefts and rights. All Afrit can do is try to stay on his feet. Afrit shoots out of a little bit of desperation. Vitria trying to keep the distance. Will he set up a knee? Trying to go high. The one position where Afrit did damage in that first round was with that tie clinch. Knees to the head. Yeah, he's strong there. Vitria just posting on the face. High knee. Oh, nice trip by Afrit. Very nearly got him. 90 seconds of this second round. Oh, he's down. Two he's thunderous jabs landed. Oh. Three thunderous jabs landed. So and across. Can't Afrit can't see them coming. Blood is everywhere. Going high with a kick. Stuart Davies is on top of it. Leaping oh, left hand. Lovely body shots. Hurt Afra. Oh, he stumbled and Stuart Davies is on top of it. It's all over. TKO victory for Marin Vitria. Folks, that was our main event here at Battarina Solid Hall. And what a main event it was. Marin Vitria gets the finish against the very tough Martin Afra. Absolutely incredible. Great sort of sportsmanship between these two fighters. We have had some incredible fights on this card. We've had some finishes. We've had some rare... We had a Von Flu choke earlier. Some rare submissions. We've had a...
lots of finishes, lots of knockouts. We had two heavyweight monsters going to absolute war for that heavyweight title. And that was, that was a fight for the ages, it really was. Literally gave everything they had to try and fight for it. And then we had our main event, two fantastic professionals facing off. What a fight. Julia, what was your fight of the night? What was your moment of the night? I, di I really enjoyed the heavyweights. I thought watching them literally dig as deep as they did was sensational. Although this one is amazing. One of the main differences I've noticed is in the pro fighting, even when he was knocked down, you can see that he was clearly had just taken a massive hit. Hayward's response, he still ducked, he still weaved, he still moved, he still carried on. Well deserved win, well deserved win. Yeah, incredible performance there by Myron Vitria. Yeah, just like you were saying, it's just a different thing that pro the professional ranks, that experience ranks.